In this video we're going to look at conditional probability and medical testing and we'll answer these questions. Okay. So um, this is the data we have. What ha what's happened is we're looking at the TB skin test. So we're testing the test. We're seeing how accurate the test is, right? Now, 2,000 people have already been given the expensive and time-consuming gold standard test for TB. That's done in a laboratory, and they study the, the cultures of the blood and uh, take a very long time and eventually really figure out who does not does not have TB. But, um, again, that takes a long time, and it's expensive. The quick and, e and inexpensive way to test for TB is the TB skin test. Uh, that's one of the quick and easy ways. TB skin test. Okay. And these same people are given the TB skin test. So we already know these people have the disease. These people don't have the disease. That's already known from the gold standard. In fact, most of the 2000 have the disease, right? So they're already displaying symptoms of TB. And uh, most of them have it already. But anyway, um, we're going to start with this someone has TB what is the conditional probability that they will test positive with the TB skin test given that they actually have TB what is the conditional probability they will test positive with the TB skin test given that they actually have TB press pause and see if you can do that right away yourself so press pause see if you can do it any idea how? So, what is our uh, possible list of possible outcomes, so to speak? If we look at the totals here, right? What, what the conditional probability they'll test positive given that they have TB. What we have to do is come up with the total amount of people who have TB. It's these people and these people. These people have it and tested positive. These people actually have it but tested negative. So if we add them together, we get 1660. So 1660 people actually have TB. How many of those tested positive, right? <coughs> 980. And that's what we do. We take the people that test positive out of all the people that have the disease, okay? And that gives us the conditional probability they'll test positive if they have TB. Okay? And so that gives us, uh, as a percentage to, to one decimal place, 59 point what? It's 0 0.5903, you should have 59.0% or 59%. That or just 59%, okay? So, um, <coughs> and at the end we're going to say, which of the basic measures of medical testing do the percentages above represent? Sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, or negative predictive value, right? So the point is, We've already been calculating conditional probabilities in medical testing during the whole section. We've already been doing that. Um, so what is this called, this number? This number is the sensitivity, right? And um, so, so that's what this is, sensitivity, right? So what about this one? If someone does not have TB. What is the conditional probability they will test probability they will test negative with the TB skin test, given that they actually don't have TB? Please calculate that, and then say whether it's sensitivity, specificity, PPV, or NPV. So press pause and do that one. Okay, I'll help you now. Hope you've pressed pause and tried it. So we're looking for the conditional probability they'll test negative given that they don't have TB. What do we need to do first? We need to find all the people who don't have TB. So 
These are the people. Do not have the disease. These guys. These guys tested positive. These guys tested negative. But all these people don't really have it. And we know that from the gold standard test. The gold standard test is basically a perfect test that tells you exactly who does and doesn't have the test. It's just once again, it's expensive, time and time consuming, and so it's not used on the general population much. So the TB skin test is a quick one. Anyway, if we add these together, we thirty we get 340 people who definitely don't have TB. 340 definitely don't have TB. So, how do we calculate this now? The conditional probability a person will test negative if they don't have TB. Well, you get all the people who tested negative, 324 and put that over all the people who don't have TB. And what does that give? So you should get uh, 0 0.95294 etc. Round that to a percentage to one decimal place. What's that? Percentage to one decimal place. You should have got 95 point Round it up three percent, right? Because it's zero point uh, nine five two nine, right? So, can you do this one? Press pause and do this one. Someone tests positive. Oh, by the way, what uh, the next part we're supposed to say is which of the basic measures of medical testing does this percentage represent? Sensitivity, specificity, PPV, or NPV? Probability someone will test negative, given that they don't have TB, is the specificity. How specific is the test? Right? Okay, this question. Someone tests positive for TB using the TB skin test. Right? What is the conditional probability that they actually have TB? given that they tested positive. Can you press pause and do that one? I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to help you now. So what we need is a totals column here because we need to figure out all of the, just look at all the people who tested positive. Ignore everybody else. So we're just interested in those who tested positive because we want the probability that someone has TB if we know they tested positive. So we're only interested in these people. We're not interested in anyone that tested negative now. Forget about those, right? So if we add these numbers together, we get 996 people tested positive altogether. The conditional probability that they have TB given that they tested positive is what? Write it down. Well, you're going to take all the people that tested positive, right, uh, who have the disease, out of all the people who tested positive altogether. These people tested positive as well. So all the people who test positive and have the disease over all the people who tested positive, uh, period. What does that give you? So you should get 0 0.9839, round that to a percentage with one decimal place. 98.4%, right? And what does this correspond to? PPV or NPV? Positive predictive value, negative predictive value. Any idea? This is the positive predictive value. It's you tested positive. What's the chances that you actually have the disease? You test positive, chances are pretty high, right? Based on this test. Someone tests negative for TB using the TB skin test. What is the conditional probability that they actually don't have TB given that they tested negative with the skin test? Press pause and do that one. 
Okay, I hope you tried it and hope you got it right, maybe. So we're looking for a conditional probability that somebody doesn't have TB given that they tested negative. So in other words, we take all the people who tested negative and we ignore anyone who tested positive. So we're just looking at the people who tested negative. 680 plus 324, right? One thousand and four people. One thousand and four people tested negative. Do you agree? These are all the people who tested negative. So we're just going to take um, tested negative and don't have the disease over all the people who tested negative. So three twenty four out of one zero zero four. Right? What's that equal? So you should get, as a percentage to one decimal place, what's that? 32.3%. And which value is this? Which measure of medical testing is this? It's the negative predictive value. The value that, okay, I've tested negative. Now, what does that mean? Do I have TB or not, right? Now, here's a more interesting or more difficult question, if you will. Why is the negative predictive value low? Why is the negative predictive value low? Look at the population of people who were tested with this skin test. Look at the population. Do a lot of them have TB? They'll all of them have TB, right? So what does that mean? One, how many people have the disease out of the 2,000? There's 2,000 people. How many of them actually have TB? 1,660, right? It's pretty much, I mean, that's a, that's a, a huge number out of 2,000. So this is not representative of the general population at all. We're not all, most of us walking around with TB, right? This is a very select group that are actually displaying symptoms of TB. And what it's saying is, it's saying that 680 people tested negative, even though um, they actually had the disease. So more people tested negative who had the disease and tested negative who didn't. That's what the NPV is saying. But um, the thing of it is, if you get, if your sample of population mostly has people who definitely have TB, you are going to get a lot of these um, false, this is a false value, right? These false negative uh, results, right? You're going to get a lot of false negatives. If, if your population contains mostly infected people, right? So that's why the negative predictive value is, is uh, low. But, and of course, the other reason is that um, the sensitivity isn't great because, um, because the, the, that's what made this figure high in the first place. Sensitivity is only uh, 59%, so the test actually missed um, all of these people, they should have been, these people should have tested positive, right?